What is going on, YouTube world? My name is Jamal McKinney. I appreciate you guys for watching this video today. Be sure to smash this like button right now, as it does help these videos get to the public and the channel to grow. Subscribe to my channel if you're new as well. I do post a ton of great sports videos on here weekly and almost every single day if I can. And turn on post notifications too, so you don't miss a single video that I post. It's only right, you guys. Listen, the Houston Texans are making moves. I applaud this organization. I really do. They finally are starting to get it. They're starting to finally get this whole offensive line situation right. Getting Laramie Tunsil from the Miami Dolphins is a huge, huge addition and upgrade for this football team. The Houston Texans are finally getting Deshaun Watson at all offensive line. I love it. I, I, I'm so happy they're doing this. This guy, Deshaun Watson, Last year was sacked 62 times. Not that does not even count the amount of times he was knocked down, banged around, hit constantly, was pressured, running for his life. I mean, it was a crime how bad the Texans offensive line was. And honestly, guys, let me tell you something. What contender do you know has a bad offensive line? I mean, the Patriots, the Rams, the Chiefs, the Saints. The final four teams in the playoff picture at the end of last year that were close to making the Super Bowl and the teams that make Super Bowls, the teams that are consistently in the playoffs year to year do not have bad offensive lines. The Texans, if they want to be taken seriously for the foreseeable future, they need to upgrade the offensive line. They finally are starting to do that. I love this move. I think Lermy Tunsil is going to definitely start for them. He's going to come in and contribute right away. They have improved the offensive line to some degree right now. They have their left tackle for the future potentially. I think Lermy Tunsil is going to be a potential pro bowler this year. And now, guys, Deshaun Watson was already putting up godly numbers without an offensive line. The guy was sacked 62 times last year. He was sacked a ton his rookie year. His rookie year, he was on pace to throw over 40 touchdown passes. You know, his rookie season, guys, with a bad offensive line, okay? With that bad offensive line, Deshaun Watson still had a pass rating well over 100, was leading this team to the playoffs last year, and putting up numbers. Now you give Deshaun Watson an offensive line, or, or an, at least an improved offensive line. I mean, at least the Texans are making some strides to do that. Man, the Texans could be a Super Bowl contender for a long, long time. I do think Deshaun Watson is going to get a Super Bowl ring before he retires because he is that good. He's the type of player that's a dynamic athlete, a dynamic player, a very good passer, a very good runner of the football, too. He can run around, scramble, do all that good stuff. Deshaun Watson is the type of quarterback you want to win, you want and need in order to win in the National Football League today. And I think that the Houston Texans are making huge strides doing that. And I also love the fact that they traded Jadavion Clay. Listen. I'm going to say it again. I made a video about it a little bit earlier, but again, Jadavian Clowney, l listen, he's great. I'm not denying Jadavian Clowney's not great. He's a great player, but the Texans, now that Andrew Luck is out of their division, they did not need to re-sign Jadavian Clowney, or at least overpay for him. They did not need to do that, so I applaud them for trading him because now you get a decent linebacker, you get a decent pass rusher, and you also get a third-round pick, so you can also use those other picks to draft players on the offensive line. Not to mention, you also go out and get Kenny Stills, another great wide receiver. I mean, if Will Fuller stays healthy, you're looking at DeAndre Hopkins, arguably one of the top three wide receivers in all of football, guys. DeAndre Hopkins is that special. Some people are calling him the best wide receiver in football. I'm not quite there yet, but again, you do that, okay? Then you go out and get, then you still have Kuti who came on really well last year. You still got, what's his name? Um, You still got Will Fuller if he can stay healthy. And then, now you have Kenny Stills to add to this. I mean, Deshaun Watson, the Kenny Stills is going to add another great dynamic to this team. I love what the Houston Texans are doing. I think they are now going to win their division. I picked them to win their division at 8-8. Eight and eight. I see them winning about 9 or 10 games this year. Deshaun Watson's good enough to where if you put enough parts around him, he's going to get you to the playoffs, okay? This defense is still decent enough. Now, they do need to continue to improve the secondary. I get it. But, I mean, I look at this Texans offense. I mean, you got Deshaun Watson. To me, he's a, to me, he's a borderline top 10 quarterback right now. He's right on that cusp of being an elite quarterback. He potentially is bound to break out this year. I mean, you got Deshaun Watson at quarterback. Now you have an improved offensive line. Line. You drafted Titus Howard. You got Laramie Tunsil now. Now you have two great running backs. You traded for Carlos Hyde too. Carlos Hyde is now inserted into the frame. So now you got Duke Johnson. Now you have Carlos Hyde. These are two players that can run in between the tackles and catch passes out of the backfield, okay? You still have J.J. Watt on that defense. You still have some decent defensive tackles, okay? I do worry about your secondary a little bit, but again, I think this Texans team is good enough for in this division to get themselves to the playoffs, okay? And, and listen, guys, like I said, if the Texans had the Andrew Luck still in their division, I could justify them resigning Jadavian Clowney. But again, uh, guys, 
the reason why the Chicago Bears went out and signed Khalil Mack, like I said in the previous video, the reason why the Bears went out and got Khalil Mack was because they knew Aaron Rodgers was in their division. They said, we got to get after Aaron Rodgers. We got to make his life uncomfortable. There's a reason John Elway went out and drafted Bradley Chubb to pair up Von Miller because he knows he has Patrick Mahomes in his division. He knows he has Phillip Rivers in his division. Those are two top 10 quarterbacks in this league, okay? There's a reason why, you know, the 49ers organization, they went, uh, they went out and got Nick Bosa in the draft. They went out and traded for D4. Well, well, for one, you can never have too many pass rushers, okay? You can never have enough great pass rushers. That's one thing. But there's a reason why they, they traded for um, D4. There's a reason why they drafted Nick Bosa. There's a reason why they signed Solomon Thomas. There's a reason why they have DeForest Buckner. Because they have Russell Wilson, Jared Goff, and now Kyler Murray in their division, okay? So you did, wow, Clowney's great. If you can still have Clowney, that's great. But you did not need to you know, re-sign Clowney. Because you now are left with quarterbacks like Marcus Mariota. You know, Nick Foles, okay? Jacoby Bursett. That, that's your competition in the division. Deshaun Watson is now the big boy in that division. He's the best quarterback in that division. And the good thing about the Texans is they can continue to make big-time moves. The reason being is because they are going to have over $80 million in cap space next year. So now you improve the offensive line. Now you get you get rid of Clowney. You get a couple draft picks for Clowney. You get a couple decent players to add to your team for Clowney. Now you can go add to the offensive line with that money that you potentially would have, you know, used to re-sign Jadavion Clowney. So again, the Texans, their future is bright. I fully believe they're going to run this division for the next 10 or 15 years if Deshaun Watson stays healthy. Now they've improved that, you know, magnitude of which he can stay healthy because now they've improved the offensive line they've gotten better wide receivers they need to continue to build the defense a little bit more but again the texans to me deshaun watson will get a super bowl ring before his career is over he's that special of a player i firmly believe that and i believe the texans now they are finally starting to capitalize on a potential 10 or 15 year window to potentially run this whole division now that andrew luck the big dog out of, the, out, out of that division is gone deshaun watson is going to run this division for the foreseeable future there's no elite quarterbacks left in that division. The six quarterbacks you're going to have to face twice a year within the division are at, at the best quarterback out of them is Nick Foles, okay? Nick Foles is, great, is a great player, but he's nowhere near elite, so you don't need two elite pass rushers, okay? You have J.J. Watt. You have a decent defense. Now, again, the one thing that does hold me back with this team is Bill O'Brien. It, it just really does. And, again... I'm not saying the offensive line's elite. It still needs a little bit of work. But again, you know, giving up a first round pick's not too big of a deal. It's really not. Because the thing is, you're pretty much going to draft a guy. L listen, offensive linemen, it's very hard for offensive linemen to transition from the college level to the NFL level, guys. It really is. It's hard to find great elite offensive linemen in the draft. Now, there's some exceptions. You know, you got your Quentin Nelsons, you got your Zach Martins, and things like that. But again, it's usually an adjustment for offensive linemen once they come out of college to the NFL, okay? So, if you can get a surefire thing in Lermy Tunsil, a 25-year-old offensive lineman, that's great, okay? You have a great young stud offensive lineman. If you keep him intact with the team, he's going to be the offensive tackle and left tackle for Deshaun Watson for a long time. I love the way this Texans franchise is going. They're starting to finally make some moves. Now, if you can just somehow get rid of Bill O'Brien, you might even be a Super Bowl contender soon, okay? I expect the Houston Texans to win this division. I get the Titans have a decent roster, but again, Marcus Mariota, he's not the guy for me. Um, I get that, you know, the Colts still have a great team, but again, Jacoby Brissett, they're limited with him. Nick Foles, he does not have enough offensive weapons around him. So again, I love what the Texans are doing. As far as the Dolphins go, I think this was a necessary move. Now they get a first-round pick from the Houston Texans, okay? That's very good. The Dolphins need all the first-round picks they can get. But the only thing is, I really kind of would have kept Laramie Tunsil. I really would have. Um, I, I really would have kept Laramie Tunsil. Um, I think he definitely could have helped um, this organization for the future. But again, I don't blame him for doing that. They're moving off of players. Again, the Dolphins are going to need to start from scratch. They're just not a good team. They're really not. I like Devontae Parker. I like King and Drake. I like Xavier Howard. I like Minka Fitzpatrick. But that's pretty much the only parts of this team that I like. I like Christian Wilkins too. But they need to add to their pass rush. They need to continue to just build, okay? Don't expect the Dolphins to be very good this year. So again, I understand why they made this move. Because again, they get a first round pick, okay? That, that's okay. That's okay. You get a first-round pick, that's totally fine. But again, Kenny Stills to add to, you know, Cootie, DeAndre Hopkins, Will Fuller if he stays healthy, with Deshaun Watson, Duke Johnson, and Carlos Hyde, and an improved offensive line. I mean, the Texans, I'm liking what I'm seeing. I, I'm really proud of this organization. 
I think they're finally starting to realize that they have a great quarterback in Deshaun Watson, and they are doing everything to protect Deshaun Watson. Because guys, when you get a great elite, when you get a great young quarterback like Deshaun Watson, the best thing you can do is protect him. You don't need to go out and spend a ton of money on pass rush. Okay, that's not your job. Your job is not to get him an elite wide receiver. Your job is not to get him a great running back. Those things help, but you need to protect him. That's the main asset. Protect your franchise because if Deshaun Watson goes down or he gets hurt, okay, this team is done for. And again, he. Deshaun Watson at one point had to take a bus. Okay, he had to take a team bus, separate from the team plane, because he was so injured, guys. So, again, I'm so happy the Texans are valuing Deshaun Watson. Okay, this is an excellent move for the Texans. I love what they did. Kenny Stills is going to add another great dynamic to their team. You got DeAndre Hawkins. You got Will Fuller. You got all those great players. I love what they're doing. And, again, the Dolphins, I think they got a decent amount back for, um, what's his name? Um, Larry Tunsil. I really do. So, that's where I'm at with the Texans. I love what they're doing. Listen, guys, the thing about Deshaun Watson is you don't want him to be the next Andrew Luck. Do not be what the Colts were. The Colts did not surround Andrew Luck with a great offensive line. And he ended up having to retire due to injuries. Deshaun Watson has been hurt twice in his career already. Once in college, once in the NFL. Once due to a non-contact injury, okay? So, again, that ACL injury is definitely serious. You know, he had, he had an ACL surgery in college. He had an ACL surgery in the NFL. I'm so happy that the Texans are doing everything in their power to improve the offensive line, to protect Deshaun Watson. I just like where this team is going. The, t the future is bright for the Houston Texans. Now that Deshaun Watson's in this division, now that Andrew Luck is gone, this opens up a 15-year window of opportunity for the Texans, and I think they are starting to finally take advantage of it. Be sure to look out for the Houston Texans this year. And Miami Dolphins fans, I'm sorry, but you're going to suck again this year. That's, my pre that's pretty much my thought on this, you know, whole topic be sure to comment where you agree with me where you disagree with me i love to hear what you guys have to say in the comment section thank you guys so much for tuning into this video today be sure to smash this like button right now if you enjoyed this video subscribe to my channel if you're new as well i do post a ton of great sports videos weekly and almost every single day if i can a fun fact about me is i want to go into the sports broadcasting and media world i want to become one of the next great sports broadcasters and analysts out in the world kind of like colin cowherd steve a smith shan sharp you get the point okay i want to do sports television and radio for a full living once i graduate from the university of toledo a college in northern Ohio. Ohio. I currently am a freshman there right now. So the best thing you guys can do to just help me continue to grow as a young broadcaster is to just share this channel with all your friends because potentially if this channel really, really gets somewhere, I want to start my own network, okay? You know, or potentially if it doesn't, you know, or if I fall a little bit short, I want to go into a big time network like ESPN or Fox Sports 1. So the best thing you guys can do to just flat out just help me grow as a broadcaster help me learn you know get other people hit to this channel you know just share this channel with all your friends share this channel on facebook share it on twitter share it on instagram all that good stuff also be sure to follow me on all my social media platforms and once again guys just share this channel with everyone you know get everyone hip and watching these videos get my voice out there and heard share it on facebook share it on twitter share it on instagram all that good stuff it's been your boy jamiah mckinney or you can just call me juice i appreciate all you guys for tuning in today i really do have a god blessed day stay motivated you guys and i'm out